Pedestrian power is the only way to travel in central London if you don't want to be slugged with the controversial congestion tax. Former London Mayor Ken Livingstone is the architect of the scheme, and his aim was to reduce traffic congestion in the UK's capital city. Ken Livingstone became London's first ever directly elected mayor in 2000 and made transport one of the main planks of his campaign. He stressed the need to ease traffic congestion in central London by persuading people to switch from private cars to public transport. Since Ken Livingstone introduced the charge, it has been an extremely hot topic with motorists. Though Transport for London states that traffic has fallen by 20% within the charge zone since the scheme began. But critics say the congestion tax has failed to raise the promised levels of funding for public transport, arguing the scheme has been costly for motorists and lucrative for its private sector operator, Capita. However, Ken Livingston stands by the plan, saying its success is reducing congestion and has led to similar schemes being proposed in other major cities like New York. In November 2003, Livingston was named Politician of the Year by the Political Studies Association, crediting his implementation of what the association called a bold and imaginative congestion charge scheme. The congestion charge was introduced in 2003 and covered just central London, with the daily charge set at £5. Since then, the charge has risen and has incorporated other areas. Street markings and a sign with a white on red C alert drivers to the charge. The system is run on a generally automatic basis using CCTV and automatic number plate recognition. For Ken Livingstone, public transport, not more roads, is the answer. In central London in particular, the solution cannot be based upon the private car. The necessary road building programme would be financially and environmentally unacceptable. One of Livingstone's challenges as Mayor of London was dealing with the city's ageing transportation infrastructure, with conflict over appropriate funding to modernising the London Underground and the city's bus system. But there's a real danger that it will backfire by making the situation much worse for motorists in the capital because public transport hasn't been sorted out beforehand. The men clearly need to do this. I think we're paying a road tax, enough money on our cars and I don't see why we should be paying extra money to um, be allowed to go to the city centre. Most um, motorists will probably balk at the idea of paying a pound or whatever it is. I think uh, it is a way of actually reducing the numbers coming in. Of course there are protesters. People don't like paying taxes, but Ken Livingston has proved that people don't like sitting in traffic jams either. Observers agree that in economic terms, Ken Livingston deserves credit for having the political courage to introduce the congestion charge, agreeing that the scheme has reduced some of London's worst traffic problems. Ken Livingston said, he wanted to tackle the £20 billion the UK economy lost in output and wasted time due to congestion and reduce the pollution from cars that is a significant contributor to CO2 emissions. Those loudly criticising the congestion tax see it as an intrusion of liberty and the government simply raising more revenue. But Ken Livingstone is unperturbed and before he left office introduced a higher charge for drivers of 4x4s and high emissions vehicles who enter central London. Ken Livingstone hopes his congestion charges will make an impact across the world and encourage other cities to follow suit.